Assalamu alaikum dear students. Today we are explaining beer Lambert's law. beer Lambert's law is used not only by chemists but by scientists of many fields. This law allows us the scientists to measure the absorbance of a particular sample. In fact, we can measure the concentration of a particular species at a particular wavelength that is known as lambda max. For example, you can see over here in a graph the lambda max of our sample is 220 2 nanometer. Absorption spectra of atoms, molecules or ions are generated when a beam of electromagnetic radiation is passed through a sample and the sample absorbs a portion of the photons of the radiation and passing through the sample. Consider the example. For example, sunlight passes through a sample solution of chlorophyll. The chlorophyll molecule absorbs only a few selected photons in the blue and the red regions. The energies of these absorbed photons cause electrons in the chlorophyll molecules to be excited and the plant cells use this energy for the production of the glucose. The important factor that when the red and blue photons that chlorophyll absorbs are subtracted from white light, the resulting beam of light leaving the solution appears green to our eyes and this, this is why leaves appear green to us. The beer lambert law states that the quantity of light absorbed by a substance dissolved in a fully transmitting solvent is directly proportional to the concentration of the substance and the path length of the light through the solution. Here E is the absorbance, epsilon is the molar absorption coefficient, C is the molar concentration, L is the path length. Intensity. The measurement of the number of photons delivered at a point in a given unit of time is known as intensity. Higher intensity could be thought, thought of as brighter and the lower intensity could be thought of as dimmer. We can measure the intensity of the beam by comparing it the intensity of the incident radiation and the transmitted radiations. We can take the ratios of transmitted radiation and incident radiation to get an indication of what fraction of the light entering the sample was found exiting the sample. This ratio is known as transmittance. If the intensity of the light exiting our sample is 72 and the intensity of light entering our sample is 100, then the transmittance would be 0.72 and the percentage would be 72% indicating that 72% of the photons entering our sample are finding their way out of our sample. Absorbance is the measure of how much light is absorbed by our sample. If we play with the formula in our calculator, we will find that the absorbance can take on values between 0 that is at 100% transmittance and about 2 at 1% transmittance. It means 99% radiation absorbed in this case. Finding concentration by plotting a calibration curve. Here we prepare different standard solution of known concentration and finding concentration by plotting a calibration curve. Here we can we prepare different standard solution of known concentration and uh, we observe their absorbance at a lab, their lambda max and at the same condition we measure the absorbance of our sample as you see over here, the absorbance of our sample is 0.22 and from graph we can find out the concentration of our sample which is 0.018 molar. Conditions for beer lambert law. Number one, incident radiation should be monochromatic. Each particle should absorb radiations. Path length should be homogeneous. Refractive index should not depend upon concentration of sample. The absorbance of electromagnetic radiations should be rapid. Additive absorbance. If a solution contains more than one kind of absorbing species, the Beer's law still holds good and the absorbance due to all the absorbing species could be expressed as. Absorbance is additive property, the only condition being that the absorbing species don't react chemically. The absorbing curves should not coincide, although some partial overlapping is allowed. Limitations of Beer-Lambert's law. 
deviation in absorptivity coefficient at high concentration of a sample due to electrostatic interaction between the molecules in close proximity changes in refractive index at high concentration of sample scattering of light due to particulates in the sample fluorescence or phosphorescence of the sample which will affect the intensity of the transmitted radiations shift in chemical equilibria as a function of concentration for example dimeric equilibria complexometric equilibria straight line that is the light is in an optical system which was not intended in the design the light may be from the intended source but follow paths other than intended or it may be from a source other than the intended source which creates the reading error non monochromatic variations these deviations can be minimized by using a relatively flat part of the absorption spectrum such as maximum of an absorption band this law cannot be applied to suspensions it also not valid if the absorbing material is coagulated other factors are temperature pressure and solvent okay dear student today we define and explain the beard lambert's law its conditions its applications and we explain how can we find out the concentration of unknown sample please like our channel and subscribe our channel for more videos take care allah hafiz